Okay, everybody, I'm here. There was a death here last night where I was staying, and I wanted to talk about that today and relate it a little bit to relationships. After the show reel, I'll tell you all about it. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> okay, so now imagine this. So it's super peaceful in the campground. It's dark, like you can almost see nothing except for the stars and all you can hear in the campground it's just dead still most of the people are sleeping you can hear the river a little bit you can hear the crickets and then suddenly out of the blue these awful like super loud crazy screams start happening and growling and people were jumping out of their tents freaking out right lights start coming on some people just hung out like I was like oh something is dying I wonder what that is Right, I became curious. Other people, I got out of my tent, other people are shining flashlights. There's people talking, right? And everybody's reacting a little bit different. So what happened? In fact, even the camper next to me, poor guy. I don't think he's very used to the country. He's all by himself. He starts freaking out, he packs up his tent. He takes off, like he left the campground last night. What does happen? It's the same thing that happens in relationships. Something scary happens, it challenges us. And we have a few reactions. We get up and we go look, like what's happening and how can I fix it? Or we go into fight mode and we start reacting, we start attacking back. Now obviously no one in the campground went to attack the animal that was killing the other animal, which I'm pretty sure was a coon and a bird. That's what I'm pretty sure it was. But or some kind of small mammal and a bird. But here's the deal, other people were just like curious, what is that? And they were just patient and waited for it to be done. And yet other people ran away. And this is the same thing that happens in arguments and in relationships. The brain freaks out when communication isn't clear. It doesn't know how to process. And so it has to make a decision. Have you ever had your brain start making up stories about something someone has said, whether it be your friend, a family member? Has your brain ever made up a story that scared you, that worried you, that made you feel alone or not loved? Maybe you freeze instead. Maybe you wait, maybe you run. Maybe you sit and you're calm and you're centered and you really attempt to hear what the other person is saying. That's why it's so important to tune into yourself when there's challenges in your relationship. Feel, breathe, start looking, scanning for all of your options. Listen to what's actually going on in your environment. Stay calm. Be curious. Because chances are, for most of you watching, that argument is not going to be deadly. It's not actually going to have all the, all the things your brain is telling you that it's, that are happening. Cause you've reacted calm to something in the past before, haven't you? You know, you can, it's a choice. You can heal that part of yourself that reacts in fear to the words, to the argument, to the stories that your brain is making up. even if you think you know what's going on. So a bird died here last night. Is that scarier in person than in National Geographic? Yeah, for most people it is. But it's still reality. Just the same way that being in an argument and dealing with it in your relationship seems different and more scary and more dramatic than it is when you watch it on television or when you watch it in the movie and see the movies and the television are training our brains a little bit on how we're supposed to react with drama, with anger, with fear, instead of with calm, with attention. So you get to make the choice. And that's why it's so important to understand your natural reactions to words in the relationship, to arguments, to conflicts. How do you naturally react and how can you change that? So journal about it. See someone like an emotional freedom techniques practitioner, a neuro-linguistic programming practitioner, someone that can help you understand how your brain works, 
how the words are impacting you, how the words you can use back so you can become a better communicator and a better listener, which is part of communication, of course. So tell me in the comments below, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel when you're in an argument and how do you react? Because perhaps I can help you through that. I can help you change that brain pattern. In your relationship, the conflict doesn't have to be the death of it. Because remember, your love, you're loving and you're lovable. And if you choose to communicate clearly, you can. So if you found any value in this video, please like it, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time.